the center began in 1975. Uh, a young woman named Elizabeth Criswell was working for the Collier Center for the Deaf, and she decided that the services that deaf people needed were not being supplied. So she went off on her own, and she and John Criswell, who's right here with Elizabeth tonight, uh, began the Deaf Action Center. I think it was official in 1977, something like that. Uh, and started on Maple Avenue, and later uh, Elizabeth talked the uh, Methodist Church into giving them one room, and uh, at the uh, on the Crestview uh, location where where we're presently located. And uh, from that room, she talked them into giving a little more and a little more and a little more. Well, pretty soon, she had the whole facility. She had uh, forty something apartments, which are still there. And uh, I think sometime in the 80s, the, uh, I think it was the Highland Park United Methodist Church deeded the property over to the Deaf Action Center. So uh, we have bought some surrounding property and we have great hopes to replace that facility, but it's been a very good facility for us. It's wonderfully located. Um, Elizabeth worked like a little demon. She got United Way support. Uh, she and John ran golf tournaments they helped put the uh, uh, Deaf Action Center on the map in Dallas, Texas. And uh, they, they were the, the founders of this organization and have worked hard. Elizabeth uh, retired in uh, about 86, 87. Uh, I tried to get her to remember, and she, like me, I think I was on the board back then, and I can't remember either exactly when she did. But... She thought she'd retired, but she'd been called back to run the center. She and Nancy Parrish two or three times and to, and to the council, and she's, she's still on the board, on the executive committee. So we're having a hard time shaking her. <laughs> but uh, we love her. She is a great woman. She is a caring, loving, and extremely confident, competent person who is, uh, has been the guiding light of this organization from the very first. So I want to thank Elizabeth for all she's done and give John and Elizabeth just some little tokens of our appreciation tonight. I'll give my hand.